Last week, a patient asked me what I thought about BPC-157 for gut healing. I told him I'd look into it, and this is what I found. For those who don't know me, I'm Dr. Pranav. I'm a gastroenterologist, and I've looked after patients with gut problems for over 25 years. It's a lab-made compound, and it's copied from a natural protein that's in your stomach. In lab animals, it seems to help with healing, reducing inflammation, and protecting the gut. But those, remember, are only animal studies. And what works in animals doesn't always work in humans. Now, starting with osteocolitis. In rats and mice with chemically induced colitis, BPC-157 looks promising. It reduces inflammation and helps the gut lining recover. But in humans, there are no proper clinical trials showing that it works, and it's not licensed anywhere. Now, for Crohn's disease, there is no direct research at all. No animal studies and no human trials. It's mostly speculation. And for IBS, there's no research, no animal data, no human studies. BPC-157 is not approved by the FDA for human use. It's not meant to be sold as a supplement either. It's usually available only as a research chemical. And that means it's meant for studies in a lab, not actual medical treatment. And for athletes, BPC has been banned uh, by the anti-doping agencies since 2022. I get why people are excited about BPC-157. I mean, the sales pitches online are pretty hard to ignore. You see websites claiming it heals the gut, helps joints, even improves your brain. But as a doctor, I look at what's proven. 